previously on Resident Evil Remastered Part 1. Jill, what did you do? Can we save Jill Valentine's booty? Of course we can. I didn't say anything, I thought she said something. The door won't open. The door won't open. Oh god, what did I do now? You really did it this time, Let's Jill. Go. That's what you did. Barry! Help! Jill! Let's go, Buzz! You in there? Go on, Barry, Buzz! Get me out of here! The door's jammed! You Stand back! <clears throat> Grab my hand! Jill! <clears throat> Jill! <laughs> oh, we saved your sexy ass. Booty saved. Oh, how cute. Barry. That was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? See, that's what I'm talking about. Thanks. Where's the Jill sandwich, but Barry, Barry? didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. <laughs> Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. I always thought he sounded dodgy then when he's like, I just had something I wanted to check. What, Barry? Why, why can't you tell us? Then, yeah, back to the sandwich. What happened, Barry, to the sandwich? Like, a few seconds later, you would have been nice in a sandwich. No, you need to say you was almost a Jill sandwich. I think that's my main critique. Is it criticism with uh, this remake? Right, I have not got no time for you. Oh! Yep. Is the kerosene in here? Is it in here? Because I think if it is, I will use it. As, you know, ease of access and all that. We can easily go up the corridor. We can do what we want. Yeah, there we go. I'll have that then. Go on. Give us a cheeky one. There we go, the instructions for the disposal of the bodies. So, they may appear dead, but in fact they're able to come back to life. There's two known methods, incineration, burning them with the kerosene, destruction of the head. So sometimes you do get lucky with a headshot, but it's occasionally. <laughs> Many of those who still have the will to live, we do. Oil has been placed on the first floor, take as much as you need. You know, I would, but there is a limited amount, you know, like, don't make it sound like it's a free-for-all, like, you restrict how many there is, how much there is. You need someone to light it with, which you need to find by yourself, and that is upstairs. We just gotta go up there, yeah. Right, so, right, let's fill it with kerosene, we'll go up and get the lighter. Right, we'll actually kill some zombies now, guys. I I'm sorry if it's been boring. <laughs> I just need to, uh, I need to avoid them. We won't use that until a bit later. We'll put this with the, I'm confident. <laughs> I'll put it with the first aid stuff. Uh, we'll I usually keep these out of the way. Uh, I don't think we need the shotgun yet. We'll save it. We we've got to be cautious, you know. Um, all right. Yeah, we're good. I'm sorry, I was working out what was in that little inventory spot. So I'm taking up the space. I'm really, really sorry. It was like just there. I'll take up a bit too much space. Oh my god! Right. Whoa! If we get a zombie that's on the stairs, it'll throw up. I don't know why, but they always throw up on the stairs. Oh! Right. Are you still playing dead? Look, your head's halfway in the wall. Like, what even is that? <laughs> All right. So the the lighter is up here. So if we just hurry up and um, which room is it in? Is it? Uh... I think that that one was locked on the other side. We can go in this one. 
Um, I'll kill them two on the way back. I just need to get the lighter and we need to burn him quick. I think it's this room. <gasps> I'm sorry, Joe. I failed you. Well, I did press LB, but um, clearly she didn't use the dagger. I did press it. Right, it's in here. There's a dog whispering. Oh, damn it, wrong caution. A crumpled memo. Today, a suspenser told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. Someone had been protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious canine that lives here. No one would be able to get near it. The mutt is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side. You ought to come run it. Sound the dog whistle. The only person who can get to that dog without risking a serious mauling. Which means only you can put this collar on him. With the object you want to know if it's inside. Uh, yeah, I've just had a thought in my head. I should have the shotgun for this. We'll do that when we when it comes to it. Uh, this is where I have to go. Remember that saying, you've always wanted to get hold of? Might be able to get it for you. It's worth that wall for both of us. Try and talk. Okay. Alright. And then, the lighter is in here. Yeah, when it comes to um, uh, using the dog whistle, we shall get the shotgun just so it's easy. Okay, so we need to. Uh, we'll just we'll burn him quick. No, we won't. <laughs> wait, this. Oh, wait. They always throw up. Well, usually they do, but they're not wanting to right now. There we go, a bit of throw up. Oh my god, okay. See if we can get three and one. Should we try burn three and one? <laughs> oh, no! No! Dude, stay over there, stay over there. There we go. We can probably burn them two in one. So we'll use that. I hate that when you go to burn and then they just jump up. I always like to watch that they actually get burned. I'll just watch till they're black. Okay, so we'll use that on him. So now we have no crimson heads to worry about in this area. Don't we? Right. We'll go fill it up again. That's the only problem, you just need to wait. Fill it and stuff. Such soothing music! Like, we've just been, like, lighting the inferno out there, like, oh, zombies all over the stairs, like, being sick everywhere, and then we're just, like, greeted by this music. Right. So we shall take this. Heal the booty. And we'll carry on. You know, in that room I went in, I think there's a, I think there's a board in one of them rooms. Let me go this way again. I'm trying to think. Let me just go this way. Yeah, yeah, I know what I'm doing now. <laughs> I just, I just remember it as I go along. I'm always so confident, like, oh yeah, I know what I'm doing. But then sometimes I take a moment to think. Right. I think I might kill this dude. I think I might kill him just so it's easier. And I think there's another one behind him. Oh my god. Dude, you are pushing it. No! Yes, Jill! Yes, Jill! Oh my god. It was literally spooning us right there. It's so strong. Can you not? I keep being so cautious and pausing too early, you need to reload. There we go. Oh, he got back up. No! <laughs> it's happened again! Well, come on, if you're gonna get up, get up. Like, you just... He just went to get up. Let me try again. Oh! Now he is up. 
I'm sorry if I disturb your nana nap. Well, your granddad nap. Oh. Oh. I didn't realize it was that close. <laughs> yes, Jill. Headshot in L. Headshots for days. Yes. All right. We don't need to worry about that one because we got a cheeky headshot. And by God, that was cheeky. Right, there's quite a few locks by the armor key. There's one round there. There's this one that's locked. The other one takes us back to the hole, which we'll go through in a minute. But I'll show you what happened when we uh, use this wooden mount that we picked up. You know, what? <laughs> I didn't even realize what this did until um, not like that long ago. <laughs> I've always like never even noticed it there to pick up, you know. Right, so if we go in this room for it. Can't do much in this room as you need the helmet key for the, the next door in here. I don't, I don't know why I always do this. I always like stroke my non existent beard. I always do it. <laughs> Pretending I'm smart, I think. Pretending I know what I'm doing. Right, so I think we place the ball first. Duh. And then we light it. And then it gives us a map of the second floor, which we will not use again. Let's go. Just it, just in case you need it. Right. That's the helmet one. Uh, well, I don't know if we've really got room, but you know what? We are going to the other side. We're going to go to the same room on the other side, so I will take it. You know. Enjoying this so far. Like, I'm really. Uh, it's going okay. We've had a few speed bumps already, but I think it's not going too bad. Do you think so? Yeah. <sighs> I could really do with a cup of tea right now, but I'm too busy supervising Jill. If anything happens to her, I would not forgive myself. There we go, sword key. And we need to use that in another room. You know where that stray zombie's just chilling, having Netflix and chill on the balcony? Barry. Without the Netflix. Jill, got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. <laughs> Can't say it's no. much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. Look what I've found. So what? A can of fizz. It's sure to yellow and mellow those things. It's yours. A Hopefully can you won't have to use fizz. it. Acid shells, a can of fizz. All right. What Tar about Barry. you? Oh, Jeez, don't worry. Tar. I like the buddy system we have here. I do, can I, I have see. it please? Thanks. I'll take it. See you later. Ciao. Ciao. Alright. Let's go, Jill. I'll tell you what I was thinking a second ago. <laughs> Hang on. Don't go don't be Oh, that's it, he's on the other side. Yeah, you know what I was thinking, look? I'll mess around. Her boobs are, like, bouncing way too much. I was thinking, like, can this girl not afford, like, a sports bra or something? Like, d don't ask me how I notice it. I I'm innocent, honest! <laughs> Alright, this is a dog whistle. We ain't going yet. Oh, please no. Oh, I've only got one. I've got one uh, burn left of deck heresy. Oh! I don't think there's, is there one up here? Oh, there is. All right, all right, all right. There is kerosene down here. Right, so, we can chill. We can have zombies and chill up here. And then, kerosene and chill. Oh. What is it with you guys, like, loving my bullets? Damn. Why I'm in these. I was gonna say, 
say if we can kill them and get the bodies together, we could burn them together, but it's not happened. I'm trying to see. Are, are you dead? Am I might. Sh should we have a cheeky one, eh? Yes, we're good. There's just that one there. Right, so we can get some more. Um, we need the armor key for that. You just need to unlock that. That leads to that nasty hallway we was in that I don't like. So we ain't going in there. You heard me? We ain't going in there. Right. I don't think there's any more down there. Kerosene is in here. And the handy lockpick is of use yet again. So, the flashbang, flash, what is it? Battery, stun, stun grenade thing. <laughs> what am I on about? That's the uh, broken shotgun. You can actually pick up, like, uh, you need it if you like Chris. And to put it in where the original shotgun was. But we don't even need to do it because we got saved by Barry. So we good. I think there's a... Oh, we can't pick up anyway. It's fine, it's fine. We don't need it. I don't, I'm really not a, the type of person to make many saves on Resi, to be honest. I've just got used to it. You know, obviously, like, you get, like, a better rank at the end with the less saves you have and stuff. That's how it was on the old ones, anyway, on the PS1. So as I was training... As a kid growing up, I, I did try to... Hurry, I'm not saving it. We're gonna wait, we're gonna wait. And, yeah, I don't, I don't say that much. Alright. I'll we'll put things in here. Another thing for first aid. Um, we shall put the can of fizz in here. We shall swap it for the shotgun. Uh, we kinda don't need that yet, because... There's only one more thing to unlock, it's just the basement, you know, the basement kitchen thing. We kind of don't really need to go down there yet. I think I'm just going to pick that up later, so I think we're good. Oh, actually, no, I don't need help for the dogs because there is a tray of herbs. So, let me just think, let me just think, what was I doing? Right. Yes, we're going to burn that zombie. What up, buddy? I'm sorry I have to do this. It's for your own good. Uh, while we are here, you know, I'm just going to fill up the kerosene. <laughs> I know it's a ball egg, guys. I'm just going to fill it up. I always do it. Just so I have enough. But I don't want us to die. I want us to be safe, you know. Like, if I was Joe right now, I'd be like, has this place got Wi-Fi? Like, can I uh, order a Domino's from the Domino's app on my phone? Oh, I'd, I'd, love, I'd love that. I'd, I'd get pizza delivered, to be honest with you. But I'd find the securest room, you know, and just uh, get pizza. Like to play through this, like I can't play through this whole game without getting hungry, you know. Like, you know, imagine like, being in it and the calories you burn off, like running through everything. Like, video game characters must get hungry. Oh uh, yeah, I would not survive in a video game. I'd just be more bothered about food. I usually stay here, <laughs> and then if if uh, I get scared, then I run to the herbs. <laughs> right. So we shall blow the whistle. Ah, I'm scared. Can we survive the canine terror? And of course, many more life threatening moments. First one to that, drum roll. No, thank you.
Ta-da! <laughs> it's more sandwich is like a Jill smoothie. Put it that way. Yes! Oh my god! I hope you're all enjoying it and I'll see you guys next time on Resident Evil Remastered.